Hey everyone, it's Donald. Hey, just giving you guys a quick video. Um, so I've seen a lot of questions in a lot of different groups about um, the Harvest Right warranty. Um, I know a lot of you guys have had issues with Harvest Right uh, and stuff like that. However, I will say Harvest Right, for the most part, uh, if you look at the warranty on the website, they follow that warranty very, very well. And in fact, I've seen them actually probably go above and beyond many, many times. Um, I recently talked to a gentleman from Alaska. He says that uh, Harvest Right even sent his machine back. It might not have came back exactly how he wanted. It looks like he's still having some issues with it. Um, however, uh, he didn't pay shipping, and according to Harvest Rights website, that is something that he should be paying for. Uh, same issue happens in Canada. If you guys read the warranty, it says point blank, you are responsible for getting it to a place that can repair it. That being said, it also talks about Harvest Right approved locations, um, which can be difficult because there's not really any in Canada that I'm aware of, and I'm the only person that I'm aware of in the state of Alaska that does repair work. So, but that being said, it talks about or paying the uh, cost of transportation for the repair tech to come to you. I have had Harvest Right ship me machines. I've had Harvest Right pay me to go to people's houses and they don't charge you a customer as a warranty here in Alaska. So they actually go above and beyond many, many times uh, that I've seen with the warranty. Um, that being said, uh, they do ask you guys to do a lot of work to prevent those machines from coming back and forth. Personally, I think it's a good and bad, right? There's there's the best of both worlds on it. Um, it sucks as a owner of a Harvest Right machine that, or any machine, right? It doesn't matter the brand. I can understand the frustration of people having, having to do any work on their machine. I, I get that 100%. Uh, and I wish that we had technicians all over the United States that could easily take care of some of this stuff for you guys. However, FedEx, uh, who's currently shipping most of these machines that I'm aware of, it's hit or miss if you see damages, if you don't see damages. When you ship stuff, it just has a chance of damaging. So I personally, if I was an owner in a lower 48 or anywhere else, uh, if they're going to send me parts... I would probably rather try figuring out how to do it, especially with all the YouTube videos that I now have created and just that are on YouTube. Um, they're pretty easy to follow along. Um, so, or I, I believe they are. And if they're not, then hey, let me know and I will try making it a little easier to follow along. Um, but in turn, it does get rid of that shipping cost. And if you send a machine back, think about it, everybody, if they just sent machines back and waited for Harvest Right or any other company, right, to fix those machines, uh, you might not have a machine for a month, a month and a half, and then you're going to be upset because you have that, where you might be able to get a part in a few days or a week, hopefully, and then you replace it and you have your machine back up and running in a week and a half. I understand the frustration. I'm not trying to, um, please understand, I'm not trying to fight for stay fresh harvest right any other company that might be having you guys do these repairs uh but think about the long-term effects of that and by you doing it for one you're understanding your machine a lot more so when you are out of that one year warranty you're able to do these fixes later because you already understand your machine and then a year later you're not upset trying to figure out hey how do i do this and hey i gotta pay a company $50 or whatever it is for their support when you already somewhat know some of this stuff. And typically when parts go bad, they don't go bad again, hopefully anyway. Uh, but just like, just like anything that we, we get in a car, you know, and I always try explaining to people a bad alternator can be a bad alternator. Even if you put a brand new one in, you can still get a, a bad alternator. Um, so I just want you guys to think about that stuff. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me um, if taking apart the machine, the sides, the back, all that stuff will, will void a warranty. It will not void a warranty. Think about it. Every time Harvest Right sends you guys parts, they expect you to take apart your machine to replace that part. 
So when we talk about the Felix fix, which is it a fix that's been approved by Dan Navelle, uh, the owner of Harvest Right, um, and they pushed it out, um, they ask you to take your machine apart. I mean, I've talked to Dan, I've talked to uh, a bunch of other people down at Harvest Right about the updates we've done to the Felix fix, which is mainly the epoxy harness, taking it off, redoing the Teflon and plugging it back in and doing the same thing with the vacuum sensor. Um, in fact, many times they weren't doing that on their end because that's a recent update that myself and Felix actually put together uh, to kind of fix some of the other issues that we were seeing. So um, you're not going to void your warranty. Uh, voiding your warranty is very hard. However, I have seen some posts today about people turning their vacuum pump off in the middle of a dry cycle and releasing all the pressure and then checking or moving trays around and all that type of stuff. Uh, I can't speak for harvest, right? And then they turn back their machine back on, right? And turn their pump back on and replug it in. I can't speak for harvest, right? I will say that I would assume that that would be an opportunity for harvest, right? Or any other company because you're affecting the way that their machine is set up to run, that it could void that warranty. And that can be seen on the technician side um, from, my guess is Stay Fresh and all the other companies, but I know Harvest right because I understand a lot of their log files. It can be seen on the log files that you have turned off your pump, opened the machine back up because you release all that pressure and then you do whatever, and then you turn back on that pump, and then obviously you're doing something, right? So you're interrupting that cycle that the machine is set to. So I would be cautious about doing things in the middle of cycles that can affect your warranty, in my opinion. Uh, as I said, I can't speak for Harvest Right, but I wanna give that warning out there to people. Um, if your tray system is not heating the top and bottom, we know there's somewhat of a difference between the, the two, be, and it has to do with how close they're setting to the, the, the drum and everything like that. But typically they should be drying still at a decent amount. If you're doing Jolly Ranchers, I know that's my personal one that I saw a big difference on. Um, my Jolly Ranchers didn't turn out the same as they did in the middle. And I hear it from a lot of different people. Uh, however, uh, if that's just staying cold uh, on your food, your food never dries on those bottom trays and stuff like that, that's something that definitely reach out to Harvest right for. Uh, they probably have some testing to look at, hey, is that heating element working or not working? And here's the fix for that. Um, if you haven't done the bypass that I did a video on, it's a Harvest Right Thermistor Bypass. It's an approved uh, thing that they've had me do. Um, I've made a video on that as well. Um, they pay me to go to somebody's house to repair and do that bypass. Um, it's not going to board your warranty, right? So if I'm telling you guys to do something, um, it's not going to void your warranty because all the stuff that I tell you to do is not experimental. It's all stuff that is something I learned at Harvest Right or I've talked to Harvest Right about or anything like that, right? I will say turning your machine off or doing some stuff in the middle of a dry cycle, I would assume, and I can only assume, would void a warranty. So hopefully this gets everybody to understand the warranty of Harvest Right, okay? Uh, your condenser Freon stuff has a three year limited warranty. Um, your main machine has a one-year warranty. Uh, Harvest, right? Typically, they're gonna ask you to fix certain stuff, all that type of stuff. Um, but they'll send you the parts and all that stuff. I've seen people, I've seen people mess up parts on accident. You know, they they moved up a part and they bent a part, and I I've, I've never personally bent that part, but they have because they were trying to do a fix and. They're not trained to do it or whatever. I've seen Arbus, right? Replace that part, no questions asked. And um, they replaced it while they're trying to do preventive maintenance on their machine. So um, I personally think, I will honestly say, I think Arbus, right? Has a good warranty. Um, 
So hopefully this helps you guys understand your warranty that you have. If you have questions about your warranty, I'm not here to argue. I, I'm, just, I'm be, uh, just be honest about this because I already know I'm going to get tons of comments about this video. I'm not here to argue about the Harvest Right warranty. I'm here to explain to you what I have personally seen from the Harvest Right team and the Harvest Right warranty that is in place. Um, if they've done you bad, hey, contact Harvest Right. Ask for a supervisor. If you're still a warranty or whatever, like definitely ask for a supervisor. Try figure out what's going on. If you still can't figure it out, you guys are welcome to contact me on Facebook, um, on email or whatever, and I'll try helping you out. As I've said, I, I do work for them. I don't work for them, right? I, I don't, um, I don't, I'm not an hourly employee of Harvest Right. Um, but for sure, if you guys need something, let me know. All right, cool. Well, we're at 11 minutes. I hope you guys managed to make it toward the end. But please like, subscribe, share this with some other people. There's other people that have questions about the warranty, I know. So um, it looks like I have another comment on the Facebook page, freeze dryer repair support. If you guys aren't part of that page, please join us over there. Uh, it's only dealing with repair support, okay? If you're asking about why my candy don't work, uh, probably not gonna get an answer. Uh, you're probably gonna get an answer on why your machine is not working, uh, but uh, we don't go over how to freeze dry food, all that type of stuff. It is 100% repair support. Uh, you have Felix and myself, you have some other people, my wife, Valerie, you have some other people that will help you guys out, try getting, and a lot of just other support as a whole, uh, get your machine back up and running. But you guys take care. It's Sunday here. There's currently, a, I think, another couple inches of snow outside. So uh, looks like I got to go do the driveway. But take care, like, subscribe, and uh, share this with some other people, please. You guys take care. Have a good one.